you know I like metaphor. And to explain what is to think, I'm going to use a metaphor. And to me, to think is a bit like to play. It's like a game. So we will describe the playground where it happens. Then we will talk about the rules, the rules of the game, the rules of thinking. And then, and that's a lot, the next lecture too, I will talk about tactics, strategy to win the game. So let's start with the playground. Where does it happen? Thinking, very easy. Between you and the world, between the world and you. Thinking happens somewhere between the reality, the market, the products, the competitors and your brain. That's where it happens. And I will describe the playground with some visual. Yeah, let's start. So on the right side, you have the world. The world, like it is, with some characteristics. Uh, probably, well, the world should be understood, including concepts like market, etc. The reality, what is Sometimes I call this in front of you. That's in front of you. And of course, the world has some elements like facts, data, information. How do you look at the world? This is, this is important because sometimes you are directly connected to the world. Let's give an example. If you attend a soccer game, football match. There is nothing between you and the players. You look at the game. When you get out, you simplify, like Borges explained, you forgot 99% of the game and you have some judgment, like oh, this player was good, the referee was bad, you simplify. But there was nothing between the reality of the game, of the football game, and yourself. In the business world, in the business world, this is an exception. Of course, if you recruit somebody and you interview somebody, there is nothing between the person and yourself. But most of the time in the business, look what you do. What do you have in front of you? Magazines, report, Bloomberg, uh, analysis, uh, accounting. You have facts, data, and most of the time, to make a long story short, you have in front of you simplification of somebody else, what I called data or uh, information. The world has, of course, it's in front of you. I call this the reality. That's what is the, the goal is to change it and you have it in front of you. Now look your side and your side is within you. Within you, and I think you got the message already, we never have here what's out there. You have a million clients, maybe seven categories. You have um, diversity, you have, and in your mind, you simplify everything. Probably the key message of this lecture. We never have here what's out there. We only have simplifications. In order to change the world, to think about the world, we simplify the world. Of course, do simplification have a name? They are called models. Personally, I also call them boxes because this is connected to creativity and we will see it later. So let's keep box a bit aside so far. Let's use the word model. We have here mental models. There is a Belgian painter, Magritte, who has a painting with a pipe. And there is a baseline, ceci n'est pas une pipe. This is not a pipe. It's a good message. No, it's not a pipe. It's the image of, of a pipe. And of course, there are a lot of, of models. I have here, well, put some stereotype, judgment, models, um, paradigm. You have a lot of words to describe the simplification we have in our mind. But the, all those words have something in common. 
they are not the reality. They are pictures of the reality. They are simplifications of the reality. But that's all we have if we want to think.